Hello, this is the next video in a series I'm calling Transformations of Random Variables. In this video, we're going to look at the ratio of normal random variables, and uh, specifically, we're going to do it two different ways. Um, here, uh, the X1 and X2 are IID normal random variables, and we're going to let Y1 be X1 divided by X2, and we want to find the density of uh, F of Y1. Um, here, since we're going from R2 space, we're going to use the change variable technique. So we need a map to R2 space. So we need to pick uh, another variable that's easy to integrate out. So we find the joint density of Y1 and Y2 and then integrate out Y2, which leaves Y1. Um, well, in this example we're going to just let it be x2 and then when you back solve for x1 and x2 you get uh, this and the Jacobian is the derivative of this with respect to y1 which you get y2 derivative with respect to y2 and and then this becomes 0 and 1 and it the Jacobian is the uh, y2 but in our transformation we need the absolute value of it so it's going to be the absolute value of y2 so the uh, since x1 and x2 are independent it's the product of their densities which is this their standard normal and so uh, the joint distribution of y1 and y2 is this and uh, where this is the density of x1 and x2 but we plug in this these quantities here and then we take it times the absolute value of the Jacobian. Plug in all the information we get this. Um, now we want to find just Y1 so we need to integrate out Y2 and Y2 is X2 but X2 is the standard normal so we're going to integrate over the whole real number line of, of this uh, density. So the 1 over 2 pi comes out, it's not in the, the Y2 world. Um, note that whatever, if we put in a positive Y2 or a negative Y2, it ends up being the same. So it, it's, it's a, a mirror image of, you know, the, for, at, uh, reflected about zero. So we're gonna just integrate from zero to infinity but take it times two until the twos cancel and we're going to just integrate this and then we can get rid of the absolute value sign then now if we make a change of variable technique let t equal you know this quantity here then the uh, derivatives become this and then uh, since there's a y2 and dy2 here then we, we get to divide that to the other side and we're left with this so plug in the information, we get this. Now, um, the, this, this, the y1 squared plus one is constant in the t world, so it can come out front, which we do. We're just left with this integral. Well then, that becomes minus e to the minus t, and then we plug in the limits of integration plug in infinity it goes to zero and then it's minus a my you know then plug in this and you get uh, minus one so minus and minus one is positive one so it's one times this and then you get this distribution here and so y1 oop that should not be squared just y1 ranges um, from negative infinity to infinity and this is a Cauchy distribution and so the ratio of standard normal distribution is Cauchy. Okay, so now let's do it another way. And we should come up the same because we're interested in this ratio. Should we, so we should get a Cauchy. Um, in this case, we're going to let Y2 be the absolute value of X2. And the reason I do that is that creates a situation where that the transformation is not one to one and so we have to think about partitioning it into regions where the transformation is one to one so what we do for x2 we tra uh, partition it to um, x2 less than zero x2 greater than zero 
and x2 equals 0. And remember, x2 can't be 0 in this case. And so when x2 is less than 0, then this becomes, you know, minus x2 to make it positive. And then the transformation becomes this. It's minus y1, y2, minus y2. The Jacobian becomes this, which is just uh, y2. When we're greater than 0, the transformation is this. We just use the positive x squared. And then back solve when we get this, the Jacobian becomes y2. When x is equal to, the probability that x equals 2 is 0. So we can uh, ignore it. And then we have to t find the density over this range and add it to the density over this range. Because for any y2 value we pick, it's going to be in both of these regions. So... Um, the, so the joint density of y1 and y2 is we plug in uh, so over region 1 we plug in these values to the joint density of x1 and x2 which then becomes this and it's times the absolute value of y2 that's the Jacobian then we have to do it over this range so it's 1 over 2 pi and we plug in these values in for our uh, x1 and x2 and we get this times absolute value of the Jacobian. So now if we look at this they're they're exactly the same and so it's one half of this and one half of this so when you add them you get a, a one which then you know the one halves go away and we get this and since we're only over um, you know x2 has to be positive we can get rid of the absolute value signs, right? And so, you know, x2 has to be positive and y1 goes, you know, the real number line. So now, um, to find the density for y1, we integrate out y2 here, and, and y2 has to be positive, so it's zero to infinity of this. Now we do a, a u substitution and we get this, take the derivative, plug this information back in here, we get this. Um, so in the y2 world, if you plug in 0, you get 0. And if you plug in infinity, this goes to infinity, so u goes to infinity. Now, this um, just becomes um, e to the minus e to the minus u evaluated at infinity and 0. And we're left with the same thing, which is a Cauchy, alpha zero and sigma equal one. Well, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.